Hello friends. Today our discussion is on determination of wax content in bitumen as given in IS 10512-2003. Ministry of Road Transport and Highways has issued a circular very recently on wax content in bitumen and it says that the wax content in bitumen should be less than 4.5%. The procedure for determination of wax in bitumen is given in IS code. And for the test, you need a balance which is readable and accurate to 0.5 mg, a steam bath, a heating bath or oven for temperature at least 150 degrees centigrade, a burner, thermometer having least count of 0.5 degrees centigrade, a distillation flask as shown here and all the dimensions are given in IS coat and this flask is fitted with a cork stopper then you need a cooling bath like this this cooling bath has six test tubes here now this is the elevation of cooling bath and is a plan and if you look at the plan it has six test tubes here three test tubes of 38 millimeter diameter and 160 millimeter length with wash bottle and three test tube here with same 38 millimeter diameter with spout and cork stopper a small opening here for insertion of thermometer and a small opening here for carbon dioxide this is how it looks now this is the cooling bath and this is the distillation process you have a distillation flask here and a receiver here. This is the burner. So look here at the plan. It is like this. So you have now three test tube here. These are wash bottles with the diameter 38 millimeter and their length is 160 millimeter. And these three test tube with 38 millimeter diameter and 160 millimeter length, but with a spout and a cork stopper this is the thermometer you need and here is the flask this flask is attached to a vacuum pressure also this is a 500 millimeter flask you also need a funnel of size 70 millimeter diameter and 250 millimeter long you need some reagents also anhydrous diethyl ether and we will say it simply ether in our discussion you need ethanol and then acetone and also petroleum spirit these chemicals or these regions are also required for carrying the test the stepwise procedure is like this first you match the bitumen sample and take about 25 grams of the bitumen into distillation flask now this is the distillation flask here so you take 25 gram of the bitumen in this flask and then heat this flask with a 150 millimeter high flame that has just ceased to be luminous now what is the meaning of this meaning of this is that this flame should not turn yellow it should remain either yeah that is the luminous flame now you should uh, distillate it in such a way that the first distillation drop is produced within 3 to 5 minutes. Take care that the vapor produced during distillation are largely condensed. And for this purpose, distillation receiver. Now, this is a distillation receiver here. The distillation receiver, which is weight to nearest 10 mg, should be immersed into a mixture of ice and water this ice should be so placed that it does not obstruct the field of vision so that rate of distillation is clearly visible adjust the rate of distillation so that a drop falls from the end of the outlet tube into the distillation receiver approximately every second so this is the drop falling here every second almost every second 
when no drops are produced over a period of 10 seconds, continue heating for a further one minute with a completely non-luminous flame until the flask glows red and complete the process in a maximum 15 minutes. Do not transfer the condensate left in the outlet tube after distillation to the distillation receiver. Mix the distillate thoroughly by gently warming it while at the same time carefully swirling the receiver. This is what you get after distillation process. This is the distillate yellowish color. Take the weight of the distillate after cooling and let that weight be mb. Now depending upon the expected paraffin wax content in the bitumen, take about 2 to 4 gram of warm distillate into the test tube. If the paraffin wax content cannot be estimated in advance, then you can take 3 gram of this distillate. Dissolve the initial mass of distillate in 25 ml of ether and then add 25 ml of ethanol like this. So you have added down 25 ml of ether and 25 ml of ethanol. Close the test tube with a stopper. Fit the thermometer extending down into the liquid and place it in the cooling bath. Now this cooling bath can be of two type. Sometimes you need solid carbon dioxide or nitrogen and in some instruments this is a cooling bath which is based on the principle of freezer. But idea here is to keep the temperature of this cooling bath at minus 20 degrees centigrade. Then prepare a solution of 10 ml ether and 10 ml ethanol in the test tube fitted with wash portal head and cool it to minus 20 degrees centigrade. And make three such bottles. So all three bottles which are provided with the equipment are to be prepared with 20 ml of ether and ethanol in the ratio of 1 is to 1. Then place the round filter paper in the funnel standing in the cooling bath and connect it to the filter flask. That is the filter flask and you provide a suction pressure of about 5 kPa and this pipe of the funnel should be inserted into this flask. Then quickly transfer the slurry of crystals produced at minus 20 degree centigrade to the filter. These are three wash bottles. And after this slurry is poured on the filter paper then rinse the test tube with the cooled washing liquid, readjust the temperature of the washing liquid to minus 20 degree centigrade and use it again for rinsing the crystal slurry in the filter. Distribute the washing liquid as uniformly as possible between the three washing operations. So it is to be washed three times with three wash bottles which you prepared earlier. After filtrate, disconnect this assembly, filter assembly with the vacuum pump. Lift off the filter using the pincers and place it in the funnel situated over the evaporating dish. 
take weight of the evaporating dish before placing the filter. Dissolve the crude paraffin residue by carefully spraying heated petroleum spirit over it. Place the mixed filtrates in the evaporating dish over the steam bath and evaporate it. Now this evaporating dish is nothing but a crucible. Dry the residue for 15 minutes at 125 degrees centigrade in the heating cabinet and then allow it to cool. After cooling, add 15 ml of acetone before it solidifies. Then cool this solution of acetone and paraffin in a water bath at 15 degrees centigrade. And after that, separate this paraffin wax by filtering using a filter paper. That is what you get now after filtration. Wash the evaporating dish, thermometer and the filter several times with acetone brought to 15 degrees centigrade from a wash bottle. The total volume of washing liquid should be 30 ml. Dissolve the purified paraffin waxes by carefully spraying them with heated petroleum spirit as I shown you earlier and collect them again in the same evaporating dish which was used earlier. Then evaporate the collected liquid in a weak air flow or nitrogen steam over the steam bath. Dry this crystallized paraffin waxes at 125 degrees centigrade for 15 minutes in the heating cabinet and then you take it out. And this is what you finally get. Weigh it after cooling in the desiccator and let this weight be MD. This final mass should be between 50 and 100 milligram. Otherwise, you reject this result and repeat the test with an appropriately changed initial mass of the same distillate. Now you have four masses. MA initial mass of the bitumen which was taken that is 25 gram. MB mass of distillate received total. Then MC is the initial mass of distillate taken up for the test that is 2 to 4 gram. And MD is the final mass of paraffin wax. Then you can find out the wax content by this equation. MB into MD upon MA into MC multiplied by 100. Now the test should be repeated and if the values measured for both test portions do not differ by more than 0.3% by mass, determine the mean of the two values. Otherwise carry out a third test and then take the average of the two values which are close to each other. So friends, thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any question, suggestion, please do write to me.